Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do messages from your soulmate. So let's hop right into it. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what they want to convey to you today. If there's anything they could say or their energies, the things that are unsaid between the two of you. Let's hop right into it. Whoa, okay. So for some of you, you could be in separation. The two of you could be on your own life path, on your own wishes and goals, working on your own like dreams and with the Hierophant here really in charge, taking charge of your own life. With the Fool in reverse, it almost feels like your soulmate feels like you're not including them in your new start, if that makes sense. So like you could have... Um, new projects, new jobs, new friendships, stuff like that. They feel really discluded from it. Looks like they're trying to remain strong, but they feel like you have this whole new life. So this is going to be for some of those that are a lot of you that are in separation, but for some of you, you may be together and they just feel like maybe you started a new job or you got a new set of friends, a few new hobbies, something that's really kind of separated the two of you now and they feel like you aren't including them in it. So yeah, with the moon energy here, they feel like there's things that aren't being said. Um, they could feel like you're deceiving them in a way. With the pentacles, they feel like it's attached to a job. Something like that. Let's see what else comes out. We've got some water energy so far. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we've got double Pisces here. And then Cancer as well with the chariot. So your person wants to come in and give you this little offer of love or something to build with you, but they're not sure how you feel about it. So they're not sure where you stand. Wow, they really want to build with you, though. They see great success in the future with you. The two of you could build an abundant life and like a happy home together. And your soulmate really wants that with you. It looks like they're just worried or fearful, whatever you've got going on, that you're not going to include them in the long run, if that makes sense. So let's see if any more cards come out. Of course, now none are coming. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we've got justice in reverse. Absolutely. So they're so worried that if they give and give and give to this connection, it's not going to turn out the way they expect it to. So it's kind of holding them back at this moment in time. They're worried on their own stability, their own independence, and their own abundance. So they're just kind of moving forward. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, it's almost saying like they feel like they have to detach a little bit from the situation to gain a sense of clarity and understanding. So they just really want you to understand if they've been cold or detached recently. They're just trying to gain an outside perspective on the love situation between the two of you. And it's almost like they want to see where it's going to go, where things are going to go between you, but they want to come up with their own like kind of conclusion on the side, if that makes sense. So let's get some love messages from your soulmate. If they could say anything to you right now, I just saw I'm finally ready to commit pop out, but I hadn't really shuffled. Now we had two more fly out. It says, please stop ignoring me. Unblock me. So for some of you, you could be in separation. Like I said, at the beginning from this person, and they feel, or if not, they feel like you're not including them. It says, I have loved you since the first time I saw you. I knew then you were going to be an important part of my life from that day forward. So absolutely beautiful energy there. I'm finally ready to commit. So definitely a past person that previously maybe wasn't committing to you or the relationship or like a sense of higher commitment. This could have caused you to walk away from your soulmate. So we've got two more messages. It says, oh, sorry, just one there. It says, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. So this person definitely has a lot of love and respect for you. And they really see the connection between the two of you for what it is. They admire it so much. And they really feel like the two of you have this deeper understanding of each other. I feel like it's hurting them if you two are apart says sometimes I think you know me better than I know myself and it's intriguing so they could be really attracted or drawn to the fact that for some of you it's almost like you know them very well on a deep level and 
they don't know quite how to explain it but or even understand it right but it's just like they love that so much about you and they really appreciate that and it's like no matter what's gone on in the past between the two of you they feel like with that deep bond and that trust that you had or have you'll be able to repair any arguments or like damaged situations between the two of you I feel like overall your soulmate really just wants you to reach out to them Maybe for some of you, you actually have them blocked. And if not, there's just like a lack of communication between the two of you. For them, it's like from the moment they first saw you, they knew that you were someone important in their life, um, someone they were going to be with for the long term. So that's some really beautiful energy from your soulmate. It's like overall, they're feeling this connection between the two of you. Whether you're together or in separation, they really just know that you have this bond that they can't just go replace elsewhere. And for some of you, maybe you walked away if they weren't ready to commit. But now they're saying like they are ready for that commitment with you. So absolutely beautiful. We're going to leave that there. And I really hope that resonated. Those are some messages from your soulmate. Until next time, take care.